Welcome back. Today I will introduce you to a specific genre of writing very important to post-colonial studies and that is testimonial. Now, testimonial originally comes from Latin America and was made prominent in Latin America, especially in the 1970s after the Cuban government starts, uh, their cultural center starts giving an award in this category. But technically a testimonial is when a, a, an interlocutor records the first person testimony or story or narrative of a person who was marginalized, enslaved, oppressed, and then the story is in the first person but represented by a scholar or a writer or, a, or an interlocutor. That's the difference between the testimonial as a genre and autobiography and biography. And it's a realistic account and it's always the account of a person's state of having suffered or having been in captivity or having been enslaved. Of course, then in post-colonial studies, the questions also arise about not just the authenticity of the story itself, but also the role of the interlocutor. How does uh, an ethnographer or a writer record the testimonies of the natives, record the testimonies of the former slaves, and then represent them to a larger audience? What's at stake? What politics plays a role? These questions become part of studying the testimonial itself. But overall, testimonial as a genre of writing it can be traced to uh, Latin America. Of course, the ancient forms of it already existed where people did go and record the stories of others and it has been part of human history, but in the modern sense, a testimonial can be traced to the tradition of representation recorded and inscribed and written and transcribed can be traced to Latin America. So that's all I have to say about testimony. And for some example testimonials, I will post links to some very prominent testimonials from different parts of Latin America in the description section. Overall, I hope this helps you understand this important genre and its significance for Latin America, but also for post-colonial studies. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time. Peace and love.